I think the best way that a commercial lender can add value to a business owner is simply by being a resource for them. There are many advisors that every single business owner needs to have. They need to have an accountant. They need to have an attorney. And, and they also need to have a good banker, especially for those businesses that are looking to grow, looking to expand, looking to understand how the banking industry continues to evolve, especially in the present economy. So I would say having a good relationship is going to be key, and that relationship will then provide the insight that that business owner can then use to continue to strengthen that relationship and grow their business. So there are various things that you can do to make sure that you are working with the right lender for you. Just as there are a myriad number of businesses, there's a myriad number of types of bankers. The other important component you want to think about is the type of bank that you're working with. So within Illinois, of course, we have more than 300 different lending institutions, but those 300 banks fall into one of three tiers. Um, at the, the lowest is the credit unions, then come the savings and loans, and then the most rigidly regulated are the commercial banks. So as you're starting out in your business, you may find that working with a credit union or potentially even one a community bank, which is generally a savings and loan, chartered as a savings and loan, provide the greatest flexibility and the greatest access to capital to foster that initial growth spurt. But then as your business really begins to take off, you need to look at, is my local bank large enough to continue to support my growth, or am I, do I need to then convert and start looking to build relationships with a larger bank, a commercial bank? Oftentimes business owners say, well, we don't, you know, we're scared to go to, to the commercial banks because we don't want to get lost. We, we don't want to be just a number. But what I think is also important is to make sure that the resources that that bank represents is are in alignment with the growth that you'd like to take your company toward. Sure, I think it's it's important that you always look and and really evaluate your relationships with all of your advisors. But as it relates to banking, I think it's important that each un, uh, business owner understand that your bank is reviewing your relationship on an annual basis. So I think that's actually a really good benchmark. So on an annual basis, are you sitting down and asking yourself the question, is my lender being proactive in servicing me? Or do they seem to care about my business? Have they brought resources to the table that will help me? And, and really, it's, it's less about the bank. I mean, as a business owner, particularly in Illinois, you know, you can have your choice of lenders. And so choose wisely and make sure that your lender is bringing the resources to the table that your business needs and that your business deserves. Crisis is always such a challenging time. We've gone through probably one of the most challenging times um, that I will probably see in my generation. And so what the lender wants to see more than anything else is that the business owner is on top of their business. That while there may be factors that they cannot control, are they controlling the factors that they can? One of the most challenging decisions a business owner may have to make in a crisis situation are expenses. And some of those expenses that need to be cut may very well have to be their people. And if that's the case, are they willing to make the decisions they need to make to keep their business sound? And so when a crisis occurs, the last thing they want to do is wait until the lender approaches them. They always want to be proactive and, and, and let their lender know, one, I am aware of the situation that is taking place. I am aware of the situation that my business is experiencing. And here are the decisions that I've made on a proactive manner to mitigate whatever risk is, is, is at, at bay. So. Lenders understand we can't always control circumstances around us, but are we always doing what we can to mitigate whatever risks there may be?